Lots of athletes immigrate to Israel from around the world to pursue their dreams in professional sports. One special athlete happens to be Tony Younger, and the American-born star has managed to lead his basketball team to victory at the Israeli National Championships. Congratulations on your big win with Rishon Lezion. Thank you. Thank you very much. So this is a huge accomplishment. Can you take us through your winning season? How did this happen? Well, I think we all, you know, we ran into some tough times, and um, I think for the amount of games that we played, we just stayed strong, stayed together, came out some champions. Absolutely. Um, we just persevered. And for you, this is a huge accomplishment for your personal absolutely, career. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, you know, most people, you know, professional athletes or you know, people wherever, they don't get an opportunity to uh, win a championship or a title or a medal. You know, so. It's definitely something I couldn't foresee, and I'm, I'm more, than, more than happy I achieved it. How did that feel, you know, immediately after? I always wonder, what are these athletes feeling when they're, after this big win, everybody's cheering? I don't know how, I, I was excited, but I, don't, I didn't know how to celebrate. I was just, it's just inside you that you just keep geeking. <laughs> um, but um, it's just amazing. It really is, it's such a, such a under, uh, underused word, but, um, you know, like, like it's amazing. So you moved to Israel in 2002 to play basketball. Tell us about that decision. Why did you make the decision to come here? Well, um, I saw opportunity first, and um, I had a friend of mine, Eric Campbell, who played out here, and Mickey Gorka also, you know, got him situated out here. So I saw that it was possible. And upon taking the visit, um, I was, you know, I was, I admired this this area, um, the people, the food, and I was just immediately like in love with Israel. And then once I met my wife, it was over. Was it was here. over. That was, was it. You here. were staying here. Yeah. So in 2009, you made Aliyah, mm -hmm. and then you eventually converted to Judaism. What I mean, you say that it's your wife, but really, what about Israel drove that decision? I don't know. I think the camaraderie of the, um, I would say the camaraderie of the country is something that you you don't see often. Um, even the first groups of people that I met here are still like great friends of mine to this day and I thank them for that and I, I think it's just the closeness that the country has being that it goes through so much turmoil and it makes it a, a lovable place. It really does. What's your absolute favorite thing about Israel? I know that's a hard question. Ooh, I would have to say uh, the weather. I would say the weather. Not that bad. Not that bad in the wintertime, and, and okay, summertime, and it's, 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 it's hot, but uh, it's But coming it's okay. from New York, coming from Queens, coming this from is York, amazing. Yeah. The yeah. beach is right there, the environment, it's, it's so many things. Like, it can't be one thing. Yeah, it I know what you mean. Thing, no. So, you know, finally, for other young athletes from around the world who are considering coming to Israel to pursue their dreams in sports, mm -hmm. what do you say? What kind of advice would you give? Do you recommend it? I recommend uh, following your dream. That's number one. Whatever it is, um, ultimate confidence in yourself. And, but um, to come over here and to make a, to continue playing, whereas you might not have other opportunities in other countries, you should come to your home country and uh, you know make it happen. You know you can you can make history. You know um, I think that uh, you should pursue anything that you your heart desires. You should really you should really do that. What do you see your future to be like here? Where do you think? What is your next step? What are your goals? You know. <laughs> I've had so much of a past that I don't even know the future. Right. Um, exactly. <laughs> I would say um, just teaching, teaching my children. You know, um, that's all that I really want to do in the end. Like everything is 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 great that happens to you and and your spouse, but in the end, you want to have something to leave for your children. So. I think that's my ultimate goal that I'm working towards every day of my life without knowing it directly or indirectly. Like that's, that's what you live for. So, um, you know, the next generation for them to be successful, you know, you know, healthy, without the shim, you know, like, you know. What was the process like to make Aliyah? I mean, I know you spoke about it a little bit, but this is something that not everybody goes through. Well, the process was, um, I would say it was, it was a tough process to have to jump over so many hurdles, but the people involved in that process made it a lot easier for me. You know, um, whether it be free listening at a synagogue, studying with my rabbis at, a, at his house, um, 
you know, meeting meeting another rabbi uh, for meetings, and then, you know, finally all the way up until the Bet Dean, and that was like a year after all that, and maybe even more. Um, but I studied. Um, I think the study helped me helped me with the history, because what I had known up until then was everything that I saw that I was here. But I didn't know the back the background story, so I think that it all tied into one once I put the two and two together. You right, know you're able I mean? to really learn about the history so, of this country yeah, and why people are so passionate about being kind of here. a roundabout way, but that's how it happened, and it was able from it made me complete like everything that I experienced without fully knowing. So that was um, that was like the absolutely not the hard part, but the like. Complete Probably the most circle. important, yeah, yeah special you know. part of this. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for coming in. It's thank amazing to see what you've done. Congratulations again, Thanks. and hopefully uh, we'll have you back and we'll see you on the court. Cool.